reaching across the building. <laughs> this wasn't in the permission slip. <laughs> Woo! I am excited about science, and I'm excited about being a cheerleader for science. It's, I have the figure for it. <laughs> it's a very exciting time for me because I get to spend most of my time going into schools or going into putting on teacher workshops, getting educators and students excited about the opportunities that present themselves when you open your mind and you fill it with this wonderful, beautiful thing called science. We're extracting DNA out of three different fruits, a strawberry, a grape, and cranberry. Uh, my name is Luke Abbott. I'm from Great Bend High School. Uh, I enjoyed lots of things. I got to come up on stage on the opening presentation. I also did the Science Bowl and Math Bowl. Overall, I kind of enjoy science. I mean, it's one of my favorite subjects in school. Um, it sounded like fun. Emily Bennett, I'm from Wilson High School and I'm a junior. I went to the session Case of a Hungry Owl by Eric Geising and Eye in the Sky by John Heinrichs. And I came to Jack Kilby Science Day because our teacher said that all the juniors should go and I thought it would be fun, so I came. And my favorite session that I went to was probably the case of the hungry owl because we got to do an owl pellet dissection and it was just fun. And he works at the Wetlands Center down by Cheyenne Bottoms and he's just really fun. And the speaker was really awesome too because he did cool chemistry stuff. <laughs> exhale and then you can't breathe and then they swallow them whole head first and the first thing they do when they grab that animal they squeeze and every time the animal breathes in they squeeze tighter I'm Simone, Kansas. Okay. What sessions did you go to today? 
Uh, science and technology. Crime investigation. <laughs> and the other one was like the brain and stuff like that. I'm Sam Koch from the southeast of Saline. And uh, I would probably say the cheese balls were the most interesting to come out of your uh, nose and your mouth. <laughs> just like steam. I thought it was pretty cool because all the uh, stuff we did, like the interactivities, and uh, actually we also did a gyroscope with a bicycle wheel. That was pretty cool. Tasha Davis, Great Bend, Kansas. I mean, I'm already interested in science and I already know what I'm going to do, but it made me want to get more into it. Um, to go into forensic science or animal science. And I'm not going to tell you that science is the only way that you will be successful in life. Science is going to open up a lot of doors. But the way the economy and technology and everything else is moving, science is where the money is at. But you guys need to make sure that as you go through this academic experience, you don't go through it with only one eye open. You open your eyes, you open your mind, you open yourself to as many different curricular opportunities as you can. So when you get out into the working world, you're not only talented, but you're educated.